Baltimore Orioles jokes, MLB jokes. Q. What is the difference between Jason Hamill and bowling icon Walter? Ray Williams, Jr. A. Walter Ray Williams, Jr. knows how to throw a strike. Q. Why did the post office recall their latest stamps? A. They had pictures of Orioles players on them and people couldn't figure out which side to spit on. Q. Why do people like driving a car with a Orioles fan? A. Because you can park in the handicap zone. Q. What do you get when you combine all 40 Baltimore Orioles with 40 lesbians? A. 80 people that don't do dick. Q. What's the difference between dirt and the Baltimore Orioles? A. Nothing they both always get swept. Q. What's the difference between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles? A. The last Yankees World Series team picture isn't in black and white. Q. Why are the Baltimore Orioles starting pitchers like orphans? A. Because they don't know where home is. Q. What is the difference between a Baltimore Orioles fan and a pothole? A. I would swerve to avoid the pothole. Q. What song do Baltimore Orioles fans sing before the bottom of the ninth inning? A. Nobody knows. There's never any of them left. Q. What's the difference between the Baltimore Orioles and a mosquito? A. A mosquito stops sucking. Q. What do the Baltimore Orioles and possums have in common? A. Both play dead at home and get killed on the road. Q. What is the difference between a Orioles fan and a baby? A. The baby will stop whining after a while. Q. What do the Baltimore Orioles and lawn furniture have in common? A. They both fold and end up in the cellar after Labor Day. Q. Did you hear the Baltimore Orioles are moving to the Philippines? A. They are going to be called the Mania Folders. Q. What do I have in common with the Baltimore Orioles? A. Next week, we'll both be watching the World Series on television. Q. What do Baltimore Orioles fans and sperm have in common? A. One in three million has a chance of becoming a human being. Q. How many Baltimore Orioles does it take to change a tire? A. One, unless it's a blowout, in which case they all show up. Q. What do you call 40 millionaires around a TV watching the World Series? A. The Baltimore Orioles. Q. How can you tell if a Orioles fan just sent you a fax? A. There's a stamp on it. Q. What do the Baltimore Orioles and Billy Graham have in common? A. They both can make 40,000 people stand up and yell Jesus Christ. Q. What is a Baltimore Orioles fan's favorite wine? A. We can't beat Philadelphia. Q. How do you stop an Baltimore Orioles fan from beating his wife? A. Dress her in New York pinstripes. Q. What is the difference between a bucket of shit and an Baltimore? Orioles fan. A. The bucket. Q. If you have a car containing a Orioles shortstop, a Orioles catcher, and a Orioles outfielder, who is driving the car? A. The cop. Q. How do you castrate an Baltimore Orioles fan? A. Kick his sister in the mouth. Q. What should you do if you find three Baltimore Orioles baseball fans? Buried up to their neck in cement. A. Get more cement. Q. What's the difference between an Baltimore Orioles fan and a carp? A. One is a bottom feeding, scum sucker, and the other is a fish. Q. How did the Baltimore Orioles fan die from drinking milk? A. The cow fell on him. Q. What does an Baltimore Orioles fan do when his team has won the World Series? A. He turns off the PlayStation 3. Q. Did you hear that Baltimore's baseball team doesn't have a website? A. They can't string three W's together. Q. How many Baltimore Orioles fans does it take to change a light bulb? A. None. Lava lamps don't burn out man. Q. What does a Baltimore Orioles fan and a bottle of beer have in common? A. They're both empty from the neck up.
Q, why do Baltimore Orioles fans keep their season tickets on their dashboards? A, so they can park in handicap spaces. Q, how do the Orioles spend the first week of training camp? A, studying the Miranda rights. Q, how do you keep a Orioles fan from masturbating? A, you paint his dick fillies red and white and he won't beat it for four years. Q. Why do ducks fly over Oriole Park upside down? A. There's nothing worth craping on. Q. Why doesn't West Virginia have a professional baseball team? A. Because then Maryland would want one. Q. What do you call a Baltimore Oriole in the World Series? A. An umpire. Q. What's the difference between a Oriole Park hot dog? and a Fenway Park. Hot dog. A. You can buy a Fenway Park hot dog in October. Q. Why did BP hire the Baltimore Orioles to clean up the Gulf oil spill? A. Because they'll go out there and throw in the towel. Q. What's the difference between a dead dog in the road and a dead Baltimore Orioles fan in the road? A. There are skid marks in front of the dog. Q. What do Orioles fans use for birth control? A. Their personalities. Q. How do you make a Orioles fan laugh on Monday? A. Tell him a joke on Friday. Q. You're trapped in a room with a lion, a rattlesnake, and a Orioles fan. You have a gun with two bullets. What should you do? A. Shoot the Orioles fan. Twice. Q. What do you call a Orioles player with a World Series ring? A. A thief. Q. Why can't the Baltimore Orioles use the Internet? A. Because they can't get three W's in a row. Q. What do Michael Jackson and the Baltimore Orioles infielders have in? Common. A. They both wear one glove for no apparent reason. Q. What does the Baltimore Orioles manager and Alex Trebek have in common? A. Both of their jobs are in jeopardy. Q. Why is Halloween the Baltimore Orioles' favorite holiday? A. It's the only thing in October they have to look forward to. Q. Why do all the trees in the capital lean towards Baltimore? A. It's because the Orioles suck. Q. What is the difference between a cactus and the Orioles' dugout? A. On a cactus the pricks are on the outside. Dear Orioles fans, Rather than wasting money on a replica hat, just strap a large rubber dildo to your head. Everyone will know who you support. Police in Baltimore responded to a call of a vehicle break-in. The owner of the vehicle said he two tickets to a Orioles game on his dash end. Someone busted his window and left two more Orioles tickets. Reckless driver a Orioles fan liked to amuse himself by scaring every Yankees fan he saw. Strutting down the street in an obnoxious New York pinstripe shirt. He would. Swerve his van as if to hit them, then swerve back just missing them. One day while driving along, he saw a priest. He thought he would do a. Good deed, so he pulled over and asked the priest, where are you going? Father. I'm going to give Mass at Street. Francis Church, about two miles down the road, replied the priest. Climb in, Father. I'll give you a lift. The priest climbed into the passenger seat, and they continued down the road. Suddenly, the driver saw a Yankees fan walking down the road, and he instinctively swerved as if to hit him. But, as usual, he swerved back onto the road just in time. Even though he was certain that he had missed the guy, he still heard a loud thud. Not knowing where the noise came from, he glanced in his mirrors but still didn't see anything. He then remembered the priest, and he turned to the priest and said, Sorry father, I almost hit that Yankees fan. That's okay, replied the priest I got him with the door. Better at sex. There were two men, one was a Orioles fan and the other was a Yankees fan. These men were both madly in love with the same woman. So the woman 
challenged that whichever man does a better job at having sex with her, would be her boyfriend. Both men accepted the challenge. That night, the woman had sex with the Orioles fan and then the other. Knight had sex with the Yankees fan. The next day the woman chose the Yankees fan to be her boyfriend. Shocked and outraged, the Orioles fan asked why she didn't choose him. She replied by saying, You, like your team not only come up short but always finish early. Career day It's career day in elementary school where each student talks about what their dad does. Little Johnny is last, and finally the teacher calls on him to talk about his dad. Johnny comes to the front of the class. My daddy is a dancer at a gay bar. He takes off his clothes for other men, and if they pay him enough money, he goes into the alley and performs sex acts on them. The teacher is shocked, and she calls for an early recess for the rest of the class. She sits down with Johnny and asks him if this is really true about his dad. Johnny says, no, but I was too embarrassed to say he played for the Baltimore Orioles. First grade. A first grade teacher explains to her class that she is a Baltimore Orioles fan. She asks her students to raise their hands if they were Orioles fans, too. Not really knowing what a Orioles fan was but wanting to be like their teacher, hands explode into the air. There is, however, one exception. A girl named Mary has not gone along with the crowd. The teacher asks her why she has decided to be different. Because I'm not a Orioles fan. Then, asks the teacher, what are you? Why I'm proud to be a New York Yankees fan, boasts the little girl. The teacher is a little perturbed now, her face slightly red. She asks Mary why she is a Yankees fan. Well, my dad and mom are Yankees fans, and I'm a Yankees fan, too. The teacher is now angry. That's no reason, she says loudly. What if your mom was a moron, and your dad was a moron, what would you be then? A pause, and a smile. Then says Mary, I'd be a Orioles fan. Father and son. A father and son are outside Oriole Park, and the young son is asking his father to buy him a Yankees suck t-shirt. The father hesitates. But finally tells his son, you can have the shirt if you promise never to say that word. That's right, says the t-shirt vendor, wanting to make the sale. Suck isn't a very nice word. No, replies the father. I meant the word Yankees.